Update tonight on a story you saw first on 7 Eyewitness News at 5.30 tonight. The bitter cold causing a pipe to burst inside a dorm at the UB North Campus in Amherst, leaving hundreds of students without heat and power tonight. This is where they will be spending the night. Hundreds of cots lined up inside Alumni Arena. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse is live at UB tonight with more on what happened. Joanna, you can see behind me, this is Red Jacket Residence Hall. And actually, only within the past couple hours, you can see the lights are starting to come on. It looks like the university is starting to get the power back after it was totally black today. But that wasn't before those 500 students had to be moved until the university could fix the problem. The lights are out at UB's Red Jacket Residence Hall after a frozen sprinkler burst this morning, flooding an electrical panel on the bottom floor. We had water that dripped into that room, um, took out that panel. Little or no damage to any other facilities in the complex. No other damage, but a big impact. The power outage knocked out the heat, and the university had to move more than 500 students who live in the building. It was really cold. It was cold outside, and it was cold inside. UB has set up cots in the school's alumni arena for all those students to spend the night. There's lots of cots and everything set up. There's lots of places to study. There's lots of board games and all sorts of everything else. I honestly think it's going to be kind of comical. The women's basketball team is going to have excellent attendance tonight. School officials expect a lot of students to stay with friends rather than in the arena, the same way students did during the 2006 October storm. As an RA, um, personally, like my residents, a lot of them have said they're going to split hotels. Some people have said they'll go stay with other residents that live in different buildings. Still, some are gearing up to spend the night on campus. They grabbed the essentials as they left, so they'll be ready to head back to class tomorrow. Study materials and my laptop and some headphones. Honestly, I don't expect to get that much sleep tonight. Now, UB says those students will be able to talk to their professors and get extensions if they have any work that they have to get done. Now, again, only within the past two hours or so did the power start to come on here at Red Jacket Residence Hall. But UB officials told us earlier, even when that power went on, it would then take quite a while to warm that building up again because the heat has been out all day long. We're live in Amherst tonight. Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.